In this video, I'm going to cover non-parametric runs test in Sigma Excel. The example I'm going through is taken from the Sigma Excel workbook. Now, the non-parametric runs test provides a test for randomness or independence. The null hypothesis is that the data is random, and the alternative hypothesis is that the data is not random. Note that this test is also provided as an option in run charts, accessible by clicking graphical tools and selecting run chart. In addition to providing an overall test for randomness, four tests are also performed to detect clustering, mixtures, trends, and oscillations. If any of these patterns are significant, typically using alpha equal to 0.01, .01 we would need to take corrective action before proceeding with further statistical analysis. Now for this example, we're using the customer data workbook. It's available in the sample data folder, which is in your Sigma Excel installation directory. So once you have it open, Click on the Statistical Tools button, select Non-Parametric Tests, and select Runs Test. Make sure all of your data is selected and click Next. Now the variable we are selecting is Overall Satisfaction, and you can click OK. And you'll see here that the Runs Test is shown. Now, with all of the p-values being greater than 0 0.01, we fail to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the data is random or statistically independent. Now, examples of clustering, mixtures, trends, and oscillations are given in the workbook on page, uh, from pages 199 to 201. The data for these examples are given in the file runs test example data.xls which is also uh, available to you in your sample data folder. Now clustering appears as a group of points in one area on the chart. It may indicate special cause variations such as sampling or measurement problems. Mixtures, uh, they appear as an absence of data points near the center line. A mixture may indicate a bimodal distribution due to a regular change of shift, machinery, or raw materials. Trends appear as an upward or downward drift in the data and may be due to special causes such as tool wear. And lastly, oscillations appear as rapid up and down fluctuations indicating process instability.